Hi everyone, it's Mrs. Martinez with Martinez Art Lab. And today we're working on one point perspective, which can get super tricky and a little frustrating. So bear with me here, we're gonna make it through and you're gonna learn some pretty cool things along the way. We're in our Google Drive to get started and you click on this icon to get to your Google Drive. Once you are there, you're going to click New, More, and Google Drawings. When you have opened your new Google Drawings document, this is our, you're gonna hear me refer to it as our page. Um, it's our digital drawing paper, essentially. So um, first thing we'll do is click on Untitled Drawing. We are going to type in One Point Perspective because that's what we're working on today. And then you're going to type in your full name. Your full name is important because that's how I will know that it is you and you're going to get credit for it. So when I click off to the side, um, you can see it's automatically saving, uh, which means everything that I do is automatically saved. And when I want to find this project to work on it more or find it to turn it in, I'm going to search for this title. Now that we've got that figured out, we are going to draw a horizon line and a vanishing point. Um, Every line that I draw with arrows uh, is going to be a line we will eventually delete. So I'm going to click on the line tool right here. Click on this drop down. We're going to be bouncing back and forth between all of these, not all of them, but a couple of the line tools and then our shape icon over here. And then as always, the black select arrow, our selection tool. Um, and if you make a mistake, the undo arrow, okay? So um, I'm going to click on this drop down and click on arrow. That arrow is just gonna help me remember that I'm gonna delete that line eventually. So now that I've chosen that, I'm going to make a line up towards the top of my paper and I'm going to click and drag and then release. So what I've just made is a horizon line. The horizon line is where the sky and the ground meet. So if I go to look outside and I look out a window or if you're outside, you're looking around you, um, you can see as things get further away, they are going to get smaller. And the closer things are to you, the bigger they're going to be. So that is perspective, okay? And we're going to show that in our drawing by using something called one point perspective. To do that, you always need a horizon line, which is what we've drawn. And then you're going to click the shape icon and we're going to draw and click the circle. We're going to draw a vanishing point. The vanishing point can be found anywhere on the horizon line. Um, I suggest not making it in the middle. If you make it in the middle, you're going to have a hard time, um, a harder time drawing. So kind of put it off to the left or the right, and you just click and drag to make a small circle. Click off to the side. So right now, again, this line is the horizon line, and the vanishing point is this dot. Everything will lead back to my vanishing point. So when I'm showing perspective in my drawing, all my lines are gonna lead back to that vanishing point to help me show that perspective. That will make sense as soon as we start drawing. So to get drawing, I'm going to click on my shape tool and I'm going to click on rectangle. And I'm going to draw about five or six rectangles. So I'm gonna click and drag and I need to click back on that rectangle to select it again click and drag oops back on that shape select my rectangle i'm going to draw a couple at the top so i'll select and all i'm doing is clicking on shape and the rectangle and i'm clicking and dragging to make my rectangles and i think maybe i will draw two more so i'm clicking and dragging that is making those rectangles. And I will draw one more, okay? I will say the more rectangles you have, the cooler your drawing will be. Um, you have to have a minimum of six. If you add more, that is entirely up to you. Um, you all know that I'm gonna encourage you to add more, but as long as you have six, you're gonna get credit. Okay, so we've drawn our rectangles. They're flat rectangles right now. 
I'm going to make them look like boxes. I'm going to make them look three-dimensional by using perspective, okay? One-point perspective. So I'm going to go back to this arrow. I'm going to click on that. Everything on the right-hand side of my vanishing point, which is that little dot, is going to show the left-hand side of the box. Everything on the left-hand side of the vanishing point is going to show the right side of the box, okay? Um, and then the same thing, everything on the bottom of the horizon line is going to show the top of the box. And everything on the top of the horizon line is going to show the bottom of the box. So... Now that I've confused you all immensely, I'm going to start drawing so you understand what I just said. So I'm back to that arrow, and I'm going to go to the left corner of this box. Click, and when I get this, I'm just going to move it a little and go right on that circle to click and drag. I want to go up to my vanishing point and then down to the corner of my square. Or my rectangle okay I'll click on that line again I'm gonna go to the other left corner click and click and drag okay so now this is eventually going to be the side of this form that I'm making so I'll click back on that line remember it's below the horizon line so I'm gonna show the top so I'm gonna click on the top corner and then click and drag Okay. And right now it's okay that it's covering that shape because we're eventually going to delete these lines. Now I'm going to draw, click back on that arrow. The lines I just drew are called orthogonals. Orthogonals always go back to the vanishing point. When I need to draw a horizontal or vertical line, it is not going to go back to the vanishing point. So right now I need to make a side on this form. So I'm going to click and drag, and I've just made a side, okay? Then I'm going to click and drag with a horizontal line to make a top. So now that I've got those, my last step in making this form, because eventually I'm going to delete all these lines. And remember, I kept them arrows. So we could remember that, yep, we're going to delete those eventually. I need to add color on these sides, and I can't do that unless it's a solid shape. So I'm going to go back to this drop down, and I'm going to click polyline. And polyline will let me make this into a shape. I'm just going to trace right over it, okay? My first click and my last click need to be in the same spot. So listen closely. Click. Click, 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 click. So when you get a solid color like that, you know that you've done it right. If you don't, delete it by clicking that undo and then start over. I'm going to do the top now. So click, 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 and click. So I've got a top and a side now. So my next step are to delete these lines and then add color. So I'm going to get my selection arrow, and I will click on the lines I want to delete, click backspace on my computer. So I'm clicking and deleting. Right now I've accidentally selected the top. Oops, I deleted it. I don't want that. I'm going to click undo. Okay, so now I have to kind of be really careful to get just those lines that are sticking out. So if I see a box around that, I know I accidentally selected the wrong thing. There we go. And I'll click delete. Now I'm going to select one of those sides to add color. I'm going to go up to this paint bucket, which is my fill color. I'll click it, click gradient, and I will choose a color. I'm going to choose orange. Gradient, orange. I'm just clicking on each side when I want to change the color. And now I've got my first form that I've created. So this looks like a box, not a square anymore. 
So I'm going to draw from the other side and from the top so you see the differences. So to get started on this one, I'm going to click the drop down and go back to my arrow tool. And I'm going to click and drag, click and drag, and click and drag. Now I'm ready to draw the side and the bottom. So I'm going to click and drag. Click and drag. So now I've got another form that I've created. My last step is going to be to click that drop down and draw my lines using the polyline tool. So click, 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 click. And then same thing. Click, 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 click. So now I've got three sides. I'm going to go back to my selection tool, select the arrows I want to delete, and delete them. Remember, I'm going to be careful. If I make a mistake, I just know that I need to go in and click my undo button. So those are so tiny that I'm actually going to use the magnifying glass, clicking that and making my paper bigger. And I can scroll down. Scroll over and scroll up. Now I can click those lines a little bit easier because it's larger and I can get there a little better. So now I've deleted those. I can bring that back to fit. And I'm going to change the colors by selecting the shape, going to gradient, and changing those colors. Okay, so now I'm going to go in and I'm going to finish up these shapes. If I went too quickly or you get stuck or confused, you can always rewind the video or rewatch that part. Pause it, do what you need to do. Um, I'm going to finish up these shapes and then I will head back in and show you um, the way to add a background and finish up your one point perspective. So I'm back and you can see I've changed the colors of some of these forms a little bit and what we're going to do or the last step in this after you've completed your shapes and again you can add more shapes if you would like um, the forms that I have created I actually kind of I was going and I was thinking okay well I guess my shapes above the horizon line are gonna symbolize clouds and the shapes below will symbolize grass so I did blue and green, um, and that's just kind of a reminder from me uh, that, again, the sky and the ground meet uh, at the horizon line. That being said, our last step is going to be to click on the shape, go to shapes, click on the rectangle, left click in the upper left corner, drag and release to create a rectangle. We're going to turn that rectangle black, and then the last step is going to go to arrange, order send to back now my shapes are up on top and the only thing that looks really weird is this um vanishing point so i'm going to click it press delete and i've got my project that is now done and ready to turn in good job guys today i know perspective can be confusing and frustrating once you get the hang of it these look amazing so i know you can do it Stop the video, pause the video, rewind the video, watch it 10 times if you need to. Um, but eventually, you will have fun making this project, and I know they're all going to look really cool. Have fun.